In this video, we will understand and solve some typical problems based on theorems related to circle. So let's start with the first one. If a line intersects two concentric circles with center O at points A, B, C and D, then prove that segment AB is equal to segment CD. To prove this, we need to construct a perpendicular line OP from the center point O to the segment intersecting the points on the concentric circles. As any line perpendicular from the center to the code bisects the code, therefore for segment BC, we conclude segment BP is equal to segment PC. Similarly for segment AD, we conclude segment AP is equal to segment PD. On subtracting equation number 1 and equation number 2, we get segment AB is equal to segment CD. Hence the problem is solved. Moving on to the next problem. The problem states that a circle of radius 5 cm with center point O and another circle of radius 3 cm with center point O dash are separated at a distance of 4 cm from their centers. That is, length of segment OO dash equals 4 cm. Let AB be the common code formed by joining the two intersecting points on the given circles. We need to find the length of common code AB. Consider a point N on the code AB such that O and perpendicular AB with reference to the circle with center O. By the application of the theorem, any line perpendicular from the center to the code bisects the code. So we conclude segment AN is equal to segment BN. Therefore segment AB is twice of segment AN. By using this equation, we will focus on segment AN to calculate the length of segment AB. Now to find the length of segment AN, point O and point A are joined, resulting in the formation of a right angle triangle AON. By using Pythagoras theorem, that is, in a right angle triangle, the sum of the square of the base and perpendicular is always equal to the square of the hypotenuse. On substituting the corresponding values of hypotenuse, base and perpendicular, we get ON square plus AN square equal to 5 square. Since this equation can't be simplified as variable ON and AN are different. The solution to this problem is to have another equation with the same variables. In case you don't know how to solve such equations, please press I button on the top right of your screen. To form another equation with variable an, consider right angle triangle AO-N. By using PGT again, O-N square plus AN square equals 3 square. On subtracting equation 1 and 2, we get on square minus o dash n square plus 0 equal to 25 minus 9. Therefore, on square minus o dash n square equals 16. Again, this equation can't be simplified further as segment on and o dash n are different. The solution to this problem is now substitution as there exists a relationship between on and o dash n. From figure segment on and segment o dash n forms segment OO dash which is equal to 4 cm. So if we assume segment ON equal x, segment O dash n becomes 4 minus x. Now our equation can be simplified as both segments are expressed in the same variable. But if there would have been no such relationship, then we have to form another equation in same variable as we did it earlier. On simplification using identity a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b we get x plus 4 minus x into x minus 4 plus x equal 16 which on further simplification gives us 2x minus 4 equal 4 therefore x equal to 4. Since we need to find the segment an not on we need to substitute x that is on equal to 4 in the equation 1 as it contains variable on and an. On simplifying an square equals 9, we get an as root of 9, which on further simplification gives us an equal to plus minus 3. As sides can't be negative, therefore rejecting minus 3, we conclude an as 3. Now we can calculate the length of the common code ab as twice of 3, which is 6 cm. Moving on to the next problem. There is a circular park with center O of radius 20 meter. Three boys named Ankur, denoted by point A, Sayyad by point S 
and David by point D are sitting at equal distance on the boundary. Each boy holds a toy telephone in their hands. We need to calculate the length of the string of each phone that is length of any one side of equilateral triangle ASD as boys are standing at equal distance from each other. Segments AS, AD and ST are equal and assumed to be X. To find one of the side of the triangle ASD, construction of a right angle triangle is done by drawing perpendicular from point A to the segment SD. Join point S to point O resulting in the formation of right angle triangle OPS. By using theorem, that is, any line perpendicular to the code from the center bisects the code. As a result, both the segments SP and segment PD becomes half of X. Now in triangle OPS, by using Pythagoras theorem, we get square of OS is equal to sum of square of OP and square of SP. On substituting the corresponding values of OS, OP and SP, our equation becomes square of R is equal to sum of square of OP and square of X by 2. On transposing this equation for segment OP, we get square of OP is equal to square of 20 minus square of X by 2. On simplifying, we get square of OP equals 400 minus square of X by 2, which is further simplified as OP equals 400 minus square of X by 2 whole under the root. Since centroid of equilateral triangle circumscribing a circle lies at the center of circle and divides median in the ratio 2 ratio 1. Thus ratio of segment AO and segment OP is equal to 2 by 1. As segment AO is the radius and equals 20 meter, therefore on simplifying this ratio we get 10 equals segment OP. As OP equals 400 minus square of x by 2 whole under the root, squaring both sides is done to remove the root of 400 minus square of x by 2. This equation further becomes 100 equals 400 minus square of x by 2. On simplifying constant terms by transposing we get square of x by 2 equals 300, which is simplified as x by 2 equals root of 300. As root of 300 equals 10 root of 3, therefore x by 2 equals 10 root of 3. Solving for x we get x equals 20 root of 3. Therefore the distance between the boys is 20 root of 3 meters. Moving on to the next problem. Problem states that three girls are standing on a circle of radius 5 meter. Point R, S and M denotes the position of Reshma, Salma and Mandeep. Distance between Reshma and Salma is equal to distance between Salma and Mandeep, which is equal to 6 meter. We need to calculate the distance between Reshma and Mandeep, that is the length of segment RM. To find the length of segment RM, we need to construct perpendicular from point O to the segment RM such that it meets at point P. Therefore, by using the theorem, that is, any line perpendicular from the center to the code bisects the code. Hence, segment RP is equal to segment PM. From figure, segment RM is equal to the sum of segment RP and segment PM. Therefore, segment RM becomes twice of segment RP. Now, to find the length of segment RM, we only need to find the length of segment RP. For this, we need to join point R to point O resulting in the formation of a right angle triangle OPR. By using Pythagoras theorem, that is, square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of square of perpendicular and square of base. On substituting the corresponding values of hypotenuse, base and perpendicular, we get R square is equal to OP square plus RP square. As radius equals 5 meter, therefore this equation becomes 25 equals OP square plus RP square. Now this equation can't be simplified further as segment OP and segment RP are different variables. In order to solve such equations with two variables, we need to form another equation consisting of same variable. To have another equation, we need to extend segment OP to point S resulting in the formation of another right angle triangle SPR. Similarly, in triangle SPR, by using PGT, we get 6 square is equal to PS square plus RP square which on simplification becomes 36 equals PS square plus RP square. On subtracting equation 1 and 2, we get minus 11 equals OP square minus PS square, which becomes 
11 equals p square minus op square on simplification. Now again this equation can't be simplified as segment ps and segment op are different. But from figure sum of segment op and segment ps equals segment os which is the radius of the circle and is equal to 5 meter. Therefore substitution of segments op and ps in same variable can be done. Let us assume segment op as x therefore segment ps becomes 5 minus x. On substitution we get 11 equals 5 minus x whole square minus x square. By using identity a minus b whole square equals a square plus b square minus 2ab we get 11 equals 25 plus x square minus 10x minus x square. As positive x square and negative x square cancel out each other therefore equation becomes 11 equals 25 minus 10x. On transposing the constant terms we get 10x equals 25 minus 11 which further becomes 14 upon 10 or simply 1.4. As we need to find the length of segment RP not OP, therefore putting the value of X as 1.4 in equation number 1, as it contains variable RP and OP. Thus equation number 1 becomes 25 equals sum of square of 1.4 and square of RP. As square of 1.4 equals 1.96, this equation is simplified as 25 minus 1.96 equals RP square. On subtracting we get RP square equals 23.04 which further is simplified as root of 23.04 as root of 23.04 equals 4.8 thus the length of segment rm becomes twice of 4.8 which is equal to 9.6 thus the distance between the girl reshma and mandeep is 9.6 meter moving on to the next problem there is a circle with center O such that A, B and C, D are two equal codes within the circle. Let point P be the point of intersection of these equal codes. We need to show that the line joining the point of intersection that is point P to the center O makes equal angle with the code that is angle OPD is equal to angle OPB. To prove this we need to construct perpendicular to the equal codes A, B and C, D from point O resulting in the formation of triangle OPM and triangle ONP. Segment OM is equal to segment ON. As by theorem, equal codes are equidistant from the center. Angle OMP is equal to angle ONP as OM and ON are perpendicular from point O. Segment OP is common to both the triangles. Therefore, by RHS congruency, triangle OMP is congruent to triangle ONP. By corresponding parts of congruent triangle, we conclude angle OPM is equal to angle OPN. Hence, the problem is solved. Moving on to the next problem. The problem states that there is a circle with center O such that A, B and C, D are two equal codes within the circle. Let point P be the point of intersection of these two equal codes. We need to show that the segments of one code is equal to the corresponding segments of the other code. That is, major segment PB should be equal to major segment PD and minor segment AP should be equal to minor segment CP. To prove major segment PD is equal to major segment PB, we need to construct perpendicular from point O to both the equal codes AB and CD. As by theorem, any line perpendicular to the code bisects the code. Since code AB is equal to code CD, so dividing both sides by 2 we get segment NB is equal to segment MD. From figure it can be observed both segment NB and MD requires addition of segment MP and segment PN to become major segment PD and major segment PB. To do so we need to join point O to point P resulting in the formation of triangle ONP and triangle OMP. Segment ON is equal to segment OM as by theorem equal codes are equidistant from the center angle onp is equal to angle omp as both om and on are perpendicular to the codes cd and ab segment op is common to both the triangles therefore by rhs congruency triangle onp is congruent to triangle omp by corresponding parts of congruent triangle we conclude segment np is equal to segment mp now on adding these two equations we get sum of segment NB and NP is equal to sum of segments MD and MP which becomes major segment PB equals major segment PD. Similarly to prove minor segment AP equal minor segment CP 
we need to subtract the corresponding major segment PB and PD from the equal codes AB and CD respectively. On subtracting we get code AB minus major segment PB equals code CD minus major segment PD. Thus minor segment AP is proved equal to minor segment CP. Hence the problem is solved. This was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.